best horror natural disaster. Yes, and everybody has their own opinion. Me, on the other hand, I think earthquakes are the worst natural disaster because they're so unpredictable. I agree with you, Nixon, and they range in all different all sorts of different variants, from weak to strong, incredibly strong. And the thing is, earthquakes aren't too horrible by themselves, but the aftershocks destroy everything. What I feel that makes these earthquakes so dangerous is the after effects of it. Like, for example, all the disasters that it can cause, tsunamis, landslides, wildfires, wildfires, yeah. Um, if all of these were happening, which is very rare for all of them to happen at the same time, then it Complete would be... Complete destruction. Yeah. Catastrophic. Um, so, right now, we have a seismologist who's coming here today into the newsroom. Uh, welcome... Roxy! Wow, thanks to be here. Thank you. So, what does a seismologist really do, and how are earthquakes formed? Well, so as a seismologist, I measure earthquakes based on the magnitude and intensity. And I do use a tool called a seismograph. And earthquakes form when tectonic plates underneath the earth collide and get stuck. A jerking movement when they pull apart like this will cause the land above to shake vigorously. Wow, that's so interesting. How would you, as a person that does study earthquakes, describe them as the worst natural disaster? I believe that it should be classified as the amount of damage that has been done and including the after effects as well, and how an earthquake affected eco can affect ecosystems. E economically? Ecosystems? Yeah, economically and financially. Oh, okay. So, if you say that earthquakes are the worst type of disaster, then how is it worse than any other disasters that are out there? Like hurricanes, wildfires? Um, well, that's a tough one, but earthquakes date back to a long time ago. And the after effects, like Trenton talked about, such as a tsunami, can cause more destruction along with the earthquake. On the other hand, earthquakes only last for a maximum of 5 to 10 minutes. But in that amount of time, nearly 10,000 people could be killed, or more. Way more. Oh, so the ratio of the amount of time to the number of deaths is quite large. Along the tectonic plates, has an earthquake ever triggered another earthquake? Uh, yes, they actually can. When stress builds up between the tectonic plates, one large earthquake could make another small one triggered to a different area. What are those called? Aftershocks of an earthquake. Oh, okay. After an earthquake, many people who are survivors become homeless and slowly rebuild at the point where they once were. And the same thing happens to animals. They lost, they will lose their habitats and have nowhere to go. Yeah, that's actually really true because earthquakes affect all things that are living, like plants, animals, and humans. So when types of disasters like these happen, it causes so much damage that it takes a long time to rebuild. So, earthquakes are very expensive, and in fact, the Tokyo earthquake uh, and tsunami had a magnitude of 9 and cost over 300 billion US dollars, making it the most expensive natural disaster ever. I think it's right. Toko. Tokyo. It's Tokyo. So, are there, do you feel like there are any misconceptions on how an earthquake forms? Um, yeah, I've actually heard some really crazy ones, like, big earthquakes only happen in the mornings, and that is definitely not true. Same with earthquakes only occur in what's called earthquake weather, which is not even a thing. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day!
and tune back in to KGA News on Tuesdays and Thursdays on 